Pig, you want to do an intro? Say hi. Pig, say what's up, guys. Here, just like how I say it. Say, what's up, guys. No? What's going on, guys? How you doing? I hope everyone's having a good day so far. I just uh, ate breakfast. Gonna go get in the shower now. And then uh, gonna go pick up Jeb in a little bit. But uh, in today's video, we're gonna go over 10 things that you may or may not know about me. So, let's get into it. For anybody who ever wonders how my hair stays the way it does, that's how. <laughs> Plus, I use this hair stuff here. Elegant styling paste. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is that, and probably the number one question that I get a lot is, what am I? Like, what is my ethnicity? Whenever people uh, ask me, I always try to get them to guess, and I've gotten some pretty crazy guesses. I've gotten Hawaiian, I've gotten uh, Italian, Spanish, Japanese, Mexican, everything except for what I am. But, um, so I'm Filipino and German. So my mom is from the Philippines, and my dad is German. My dad was only lived in Germany for a couple years, like as a child, so he doesn't really remember anything, but um, he is from Germany, you could say, but not really. Um, and then my mom grew up in the Philippines. She moved to Canada when she was about 18, I wanna say, 18 or 19. So, um, so she's been here for about 30 years now, I think, or something like that. No, not 30 years. I don't know, something like that. But she's been here for quite some time now. But uh, yeah, so my they, they met because my dad, he drives the city bus here in the city. So he drives um, the late night bus. And uh, my mom used to take his bus actually to go to work and stuff like that. And, uh, and that's how they met. My mom used to take my dad's bus and <laughs> I guess they went on a couple dates from there and then boom, there they are. Here I am. And uh, yeah, so that's what I am. So I'm Filipino and German. So, since we're still on the topic of families, the second thing out of the 10 things that you guys may, may or may not know about me is that I am the second child out of four. Um, so, I've got an older brother and I've got two younger sisters. So, uh, my older brother, he is 25, 25. My older brother is 25. I'm 22. My, the older sister is 20, or 20 turning 21, so she's 20, turning 21. Uh, and then the my youngest sister, she is 14. Wow, oh, is really bad, I don't know any of my siblings age. But I'm gonna say 14. But yeah, so I, like, we're all pretty different. Like a lot of people, or a lot of siblings are like kind of similar and like have the same interests and stuff like that, but we're, we're all very different. So my brother, he's big into music, he's in a band. Uh, he just went on a tour this past summer. And so, um, yeah, so he, his thing is music. Um, me, obviously, my thing is like fitness and stuff like that. Um, my older sister, she is uh, a pro-life activist and uh, she is vegan. Um, yeah, those are the couple things that kind of like stand out about her that are kind of unique. Uh, and then uh, my youngest sister, she is still in uh, junior high, so she's still in grade nine. So she's still trying to figure out what she likes and what her interests are and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm the second oldest out of all my siblings.
sounds like I'm crying because it's so dry out. Focus! There we go. Okay guys, thing number three about me is that I have never seen any of the Harry Potter movies. Any of them. None of them? You're crazy. Crazy. I haven't seen any, any of them. Every time I tell someone that, they always give me a look like I'm a freaking alien. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The whole like wizard and witch freaking scene I don't know it's just never really like been something that's interested me like kind of like Game of Thrones like that that doesn't interest me either like I don't know everyone always says sorry cracked my heel. <laughs> everyone always says that that show is like so awesome and so good but like I don't know and like I'm definitely judging it by like its look but I don't know it just doesn't appeal to me like it just it's don't it's not pretty enough it's not pretty enough and there's no one there that like no one in there lifts except for that one guy <laughs> And so like I'm not gonna watch it unless like they all lift, you know, so um, So it's just never really appealed to me. So yeah, I think that's an interesting fact but since 90% of the world like loses their mind over Harry Potter and thinks that it's the best thing in the world But yeah, I've never seen any of the movies That's why he would watch crazy rich Asians with me because they don't lift yeah, they don't lift in that movie either, so I didn't I didn't bother watching it. Like Yeah. So I'm about to go train legs. I've got this uh, banana chocolate chip muffin here. Macros on this baby are So 78 grams of carbs, 30 fat, and 8 grams of protein. That brings it to 620 calories in this mammoth of a muffin. Mammoth muffin. Pre-leg day. Guys, just finished up squats. I did five sets of six reps, 285 pounds. That was pretty tough. That's the heaviest I've gone with those amount of sets and reps. 285, five sets of six. It's pretty tough. Still trying to catch my breath. Moving on to leg press, but I thought I'd use this opportunity to mention fact number four about me. Um, I used to, well, at least I still listen to, but I used to a lot more. I used to listen to like heavy metal music, like. Screamo. I still listen to it like it's still on my phone and I still download it and listen to it like when I work out and stuff But if anybody's familiar with these bands, I used to listen to The Devil Wears Prada, Bring Me the Horizon uh, I Killed the Prom Queen, A Day to Remember, like bands like that and like Every time I've ever told someone that they're like what like really like everyone's always like do you even understand what they're saying? Sometimes you don't understand what they're saying But like that's why you look up the lyrics and then if you look up the lyrics read the lyrics and then listen to it like you can make it work <laughs> you can sound it out but yeah i used to listen to screamo like quite a bit and i still kind of do but yeah if any of you are curious go look those up go look those bands up the devil wears prada was one of my favorites so was bring me the horizon so yeah go look them up how was the workout yes <laughs> that was good it was good yeah back day why does this lose focus so much? There we go. What'd you say? Back day. All right guys, so we just cooked up uh, a dinner for ourselves. Well, Jeb cooked up a dinner for us. Uh, we cooked cod for the first time. It was pretty good. It's very plain, to be honest, but 
Um, it was good. It's full of protein, so I didn't mind it at all. We just threw some sauce in there with some rice, and it was good. But uh, anyway, so fact or thing number five about me that you may or may not have known. Uh, as you can see, I'm dressed up um, in a jacket and button-up shirt and whatnot. Uh, I work at the Cactus Club Cafe. It's a restaurant. Um, it's, it's in Canada right now, but looking to expand to the States, who knows? Um, but yeah, so I work at the one here in Edmonton, right downtown. Uh, and I'm one of the night managers there. So I work, my schedule is Wednesdays to Sundays. So Mondays and Tuesdays are my days off. Um, so if you're ever in the area, come, come down Saturday nights. I'm always there. Uh, it's a party, but, uh, yeah. We'll pick this back up tomorrow because I closed tonight, so I won't be able to film really anything, but uh, we'll pick it back up tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Number six on the list is that I don't have a regular schedule like everyone else. I work at I work during the night, and so it's now like 10 o'clock, and I just woke up. So like I sleep in, sleep in almost every morning, guys. Um, I don't wake up at 7 or 8. To go to work or anything like that I start work at like 6 p.m. so I sleep in quite a bit 10 a.m. I try to like I try to make a conscious conscious effort to get my eight hours in and so if it means waking up at 10 or 11 then I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it don't that'll do donkey that'll do donkey that'll do with that being said, guys, waking up late does have some cons to it. We are trying to get to the gym before Jeff goes to school. And uh, we don't have as much time as we would like. But you know what? We make it work. We're going to rush. We're going to make it work. We're going to work out in. And yeah. AKA Jensen rushing me every morning. No, it's not Jensen rushing me every morning. It's just me waking up at the hour that I would like to wake up and it's just not fitting for everyone else's schedule. So, I'm the inconvenience to everyone. Okay guys, so number seven on the list of things you may or may not have known about me. This is going back to another family thing. Um, I'm in the middle of... Going back to another family thing, so it's like really weird. So when I'm with my family, when I'm at home with my, at like any family function, I don't go by Greg. I don't go by my first name, I go by my middle name, which is Daniel. So everyone at home calls me Daniel. I grew up being called Daniel, like at home, at family functions, at anything. So it's like weird if my family were to ever call me Greg, but like if I'm in any other environment, like work, school, out in public, I'm Greg. It's really weird, I don't know why it's like that. It's just, it's always been like that. I grew up knowing that, that I'm Daniel at home, I'm Daniel with family and stuff like that. And then out in public and stuff like that, I go by my first name, Greg. It's really weird, but interesting fact, I think. Uh, okay guys, so we just finished up that workout. I did my upper body day today, but it was, I was feeling kind of weak today. Um, I'm not too sure why, but just didn't feel the greatest, but I still got it done. I'm still like pushing myself, still sweating, but I didn't feel too strong, but whatever, I still got it done. Uh, anyways, number eight on the list is my favorite color. Pretty simple, pretty boring, but um, I am a big fan of like black and whites, but like people, a lot of people say that's not a color, it's a shade or whatever. But so if I were to pick a color, I would pick blue. Blue is my favorite color for sure, as you can see. Um, uh, if I were to pick any type of blue, it would be like a, like a navy blue. I think like a dark navy blue would be my favorite type of blue. I don't know, I used, I really used to like baby blue, but I don't know, it's kind of worn off a little bit a little bit on me, but I think I like like the navy blue because it's like closer to like a a black almost, but yeah. Dark navy blue, what do you think, Jeb? Do you like navy blue? I like light blue better. Light blue better. Do you know my favorite color? Your favorite color? Pink. Yep. Um, 
But yeah, so dark navy blue. That's my favorite color. The number eight on the list. Woo! Woo! Alright guys, so number nine on the list is, uh, is a pretty big one, it's pretty important. Uh, most of you probably already know, but for those of you who don't know, uh, I do have a son. Uh, I'm a father, yes. Uh, I actually birthed him myself. Um, it was like a rare kind of occurrence that I gave birth. Um, but yeah, I do have a son. Here, I'll, I'll go grab him. This is my son, Pig. Pig, say hi. Pig, look. Say hello. Say hi, Pig. So this is my son Pig. He is two years old. He just turned two in October. So he's still a little baby. He wants to go play outside. So we're gonna go run around in the hallway for a bit. You wanna go play? Here, come on, let's go. So yeah, so that's my little man, my little boy. Okay guys, number 10 on the list, we made it. Last one, last thing that you may or may not have known about me. So, um, I think this is kind of a unique one. Not really unique, but kind of a little, a little weird. But, um, my favorite food. <laughs> my favorite food slash the one food that I would eat for the rest of my life without getting sick of and be able to just eat it for the rest of my life uh, would be hot dogs. <laughs> I love hot dogs. Um, I remember a couple times, like a few years ago I went to uh, I went to a couple of festivals and uh, and it was those ones where you like camp and bring your own stuff or whatever and all like pig! <laughs> pig doesn't like hot dogs apparently. Um, and it's one of those festivals where you like camp and like bring your own food and stuff like that and I went the entire festival on just hot dogs I would just eat hot dogs and I was all good and honestly I probably still could like I, I I don't know what it is about them but I love them some people find them super gross but I don't know I love them I can eat them for the rest of my life so <laughs> there you go there you have it 10 things that you may or may have not known about me um, yeah so maybe you know me a little bit better now I don't know a couple unique facts a couple interesting things but uh yeah pig just got into the garbage and he pulled out a little toilet paper roll but he's doing his own thing anyways i want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it give it a like give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next one